You're watching the marketplace. Now, the after secretariat is targeting January 2021 for the commencement of the implementation of the free trade agreement flowing its postponement due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Now, as we speak, there's a major conference underway in Accra on the implementation of the trade pact. It is important that Ghanaian businesses uh, are ready for the benefits of the trade agreement uh, after and during or during this pandemic and after the pandemic. So Stanford Seed Transformation Network Ghana will be hosting its annual flagship business and leadership conference with a focus on the continental free trade area and its implications for Ghanaian businesses. Ahead of that, I'm joined by communications officer of Stanford Seed Transformation Network, Karen Evans Holm for a discussion. So let's begin with why Stanford Seed um, hosts this business leadership conference annually. Uh, hello, Karen, if you can hear me, uh, I'd like for you to unmute because we cannot hear you at all. Oh, okay. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, so let's talk about this conference that is coming up uh, tomorrow. God willing, uh, okay. is going to focus on AFTA and how Ghanaian businesses can benefit from it even during this pandemic and afterwards. But first though, I'd like for you to talk to us about why you hold this conference annually. Okay, um, so we do this conference annually to keep um, the business leaders in the network abreast with the time and um, to keep ourselves because we all have a plan for growth and expansion. And so we join, we gather together every year to um, encourage each other to discuss current business strength, and mm. then also to make sure that we hold each other accountable for what we say we are going to do with our respective businesses. So it's supposed to be is a learning uh, um, and networking um, events that we have for the network, and then also for other business leaders. And, and this year has been an unusual year. Uh, your theme is running along the lines of uh, something that has got to do with forced change. Tell us more about it. Okay, uh, looks like the connection to uh, Karen is not too good. She's actually frozen there. We'll try and see if we can reestablish contact with her. Otherwise, we move on to the aviation sector. Egypt Air is reported to have been chosen as the preferred partner in the establishment of a new home-based carrier for the country. According to Aviation Ghana, a news portal, the aviation ministry settled on the Cairo-based airline after an extensive scrutiny by the committee put together by government to search for a strategic partner. The Aviation Ghana news portal maintained that Egypt Air's proposal is much better than the initial deal put forward by Ethiopian Airlines, Joy Business understands that an MOU is expected to be signed between the two parties in the coming days. All right, so we'll head back to Karen, see if we can get a good connection uh, to continue our discussion. Karen, we're talking about the theme for tomorrow's uh, business conference. Yes, so I was saying that the conference... Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, fantastic. So I was saying that the theme for tomorrow's conference is embracing force change within diverse cultures. And why the theme? Um, you know, the COVID has come to shift things, um, whether we like it or not. Right. Um, we are seeing a lot of changes in our business. We are seeing a lot of changes in our life. And so the, 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 the content of the conference is going to focus on how do we adjust our various businesses in such a way that we still remain profitable, we still re remain relevant to our employees and all our other stakeholders. Okay. And so there's plenty of talk about how local businesses can benefit from AFTA. And as I indicated in the intro, as we speak, there's a national conference <laughs> underway on the implementation of the trade pact. But I guess the question is how? How can they do so when we are dealing with a pandemic which is not over yet? Okay, you know, one of the good things that the pandemic came with is digitalization. So, um, yeah, the, the digital space. And so we found ourselves businesses that were normally um, would do have to have um, in-person meetings where you'd have to have people in, the, in, the, in an office working now we are, we are having things like even this interview, for example, 
pre pre um COVID, probably I, was, I would have had to come to the to the studio. But now I'm doing this online, mm. and so we are looking at these other things. How do we do that? Making sure they are managing our staff for them to deliver what they are supposed to deliver, even if they are working from home. How do we form partnerships, even with our borders um, still closed? Now we have some borders being opened, but what are the tools that are available to make sure that we still are able to forge our partnerships across borders? So those are some of the details that we are going to be discussing at the conference tomorrow. Mm. And you make an important point about uh, digitalization because, um, as you have been reporting, the AU, in collaboration with the AFTA Secretariat, are uh, introducing um, a new trading platform. So it's going to be digital. So then I'm going to ask you, because I see that you've got a lineup of very influential speakers. Tell us about that and what your expectations are at the end of the conference tomorrow. Okay. So we have, like you rightly said, we have um, Dr. Austin JC. He is the CEO of Dr. Cable and um, Conductor Limited. He will speak on embracing force change within the diverse cultures. And then we also have um, Nana Dr. Michael Lejum Ejukum Edo. Ado, sorry, he is the CEO of uh, Mikado Holdings. And he will speak on positioning business post COVID because, by all means, we, we all have been affected in one way or the other. So, how do we recenter? How do we reorganize ourselves to make sure that we leverage on the COVID to still scale up? And then we also have uh, Mrs. Uh, Ms. Esther Koba, the CEO of Stratcom Africa, and she will be speaking on scaling up in diverse cultures as well, looking at this from the communication angle. Mm. And then we have Mr. James Bidofotudote, the senior partner of um, AB and David, and we will speak on the AFCFTA and um, delve more into its implications for um, for manufacturers, for services, and so on and so forth. Okay, so. Anybody can be a part of this? Definitely. It is open to anybody who, who wants to know a lot more about the, the AFCFCA and anybody who runs a business and wants to know how to position themselves to make themselves still relevant when the whole of Africa is a market and also what tools they can put in place to ensure that with these changes, how do you repackage yourself, how do you repackage your company to make sure you're relevant to your current stakeholders and the ones you hope to um, uh, attain in the future. Right. Uh, one takeaway from our conversation is that uh, we have to think digital as a business if you want to benefit from the Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. Thanks very much indeed. We're following that conference. Thank you, Karen.